Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to be checking out the newest update that just hit the game. Let's jump right into it. First place we're going to go is Camp Gonna Get Ya. And to get there, we're going to be heading to Yogger's Inn. Before I go any further, if you guys enjoy my videos, do me a favor and tap that like button, smash the subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. So you're going to be talking to Dottie once you get here in Yogger's. And she's just going to be walking around right in the entrance here. So talk to her and you're going to have a couple things you can check out. Now this is all from last year and all the years before. This is a seasonal area that will be up, I mean that will no longer be updated. So that everything that you get in here will be the same as what it was last year. There's nothing new in here. But let's check out some of these things if you have not seen them. You got the big giant bonk. Then you have the serious head injury. These things are for dragon crystals. Shrade's mask head. This is slightly different than the Shrade's thing because, of course, his head is different. Get the Eviscerator. This is just the standard one. There's a much better one that you can get. And the Camp Torch. I've always liked the Camp Torch just because of the flames on it and stuff. It's kind of cool. The Toasty Marshmallow. Another one that I like as well. Again, because of the flames on it. And it's kind of, it's a funny one. You also can get some Shrade pets. And you've got the Shrado the clown that is creepy and these are all the shrades that appear in camp gonna get you this is a nice one i really like this one look at the particles coming off shrade x another one of my favorites but i still don't understand why they haven't fixed this this has been like this now for over a year let's just see if he's looking yeah look it's it's all bent but i digress let's jump over to the camp if you have never been to the camp before, you are going to be having a series of quests in here. And this will be giving you the whole story into the camp going to get you. Definitely worth playing through. If you haven't done that, do so. In here, once you have completed a part of the quest, I guess, you're going to be getting access. I don't think you get access to stuff before the quest, but I might be wrong. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. And so you've got the camp uniforms. This is all the different stuff that you can craft in here, but you're going to be needing camp craft badges for i believe everything in here is all camp yes it is so some of these things are really nice i like this nice dark red on that you get a couple outfits like the campy mage my highlight is the shrade crafting this is really cool because you now you do need certain things that are drops from the main boss so from the big bad guy the big shrade bad guy you're going to be getting the main drop now he is he's a world boss so he does spawn in intervals like it's like a 15 minute spawn or something like that before he spawns back again which is kind of annoying but you can jump servers if you're sick of waiting for his spawns but let's check out some of these these are just so nice absolutely love these weapons if you're a legion fan you're gonna want that you're gonna want all these for the legion fans i won't show every single thing but that's the legion skin which does actually change his face as well so it changes into a really dark thing it's really nice the shrade x dual shredder is one of my favorites and it's it's actually hard to get these i've got the shrade x skin right here now this goes with my helmet so you've got the cryo stuff this is the cryo outfit the eviscerator this is the pit trades eviscerator such a nice weapon really like that one one of my favorites and you got the pit trade stuff the trade has been spotted in this location so let's go and check him out. We need to find him for... Oh, he's right over there. Now this is... Which trade is that? Is that the sunken trade? Because you have... Yeah, that's the sunken trade. You have a multiple amount of trades that spawn in this area. From the sunken, you have the regular, you have the doomed, you have the cryo, the pit, the legion, the shredo, which is a clown. This is where the dungeon is right over here the nanite place where you can get the nanites now there are some stuff here as well you've got the space camp shop but you're going to be needing a hidden key to get access to that so if you are wanting access to that just head right over here and we're going to be zooming our camera in close to make it a little bit easier because under here you're going to be finding a chest up against a wall right here interact with that chest I said interact with that chest you've got a metallic key grab that and you're going to be getting access to 
that chat. Where am I going? Over here. You're going to be getting access to the shop because it is no longer locked as long as you have that key in your inventory. And this is the Camp Mech Quest. Now, if you guys know Mech Quest, that is an old game of AQ, I mean, AE's games. It's one of their old games. And you've got some nice purple and dark shoes with some nice things right here. Camp wear. Looks quite funny with the outfit I'm wearing, but... So the Xenoscythe spaceship is a level 5 plus scaled area, and this is a difficult place. This is a very challenging dungeon. But you do get some drops out of here, and the main thing that you would be looking for is those nanites that you would be using to craft the items that you want. Now every Friday the 13th, there was a war. They always had a war between two camps. They had one camp over there and one camp over there, and they always varied. It was always different camps, like wolves versus spiders and things like that. So unfortunately, this tradition is has ended as of this year. This is no longer a tradition that's going to continue, but you can still get all the stuff that was available. Unfortunately, there is no win thing, so there's no flag available. But if you guys were here for the last one, you were able to get one of those rare. All those flags that you obtained from the previous wars are now perma rare. You've got a camp craft badge right here, so you can grab this quest, turn this in to get the camp craft badges, which is what you can use to craft the different items. You've got the uniform crafting right here and all of this is unlocked right away there was usually a war where certain things were locked until you reached a certain level in the war this is no longer the case so now everything in here is available and there's some nice weapons in here too you've got the shreds reversed dagger and if you talk to the other guy he has some stuff in here that is slightly different the shadow i'm not sure how to say that Gracoon, Gracoon, i guess and you've got the gonna get you axe on the other side or the great cleaver nice big weapon so if you head over here to the blue side of the camp you're gonna have this right here now if you're not seeing this door if you don't have access to it then it's probably because you're not a, you have to get a certain ways like i said into the storyline that is in this area and so in here you're going to be having access to a new uh, wait you can look in the bed oh that okay that puts you to sleep so you talk to Christine right here, and she's going to have some more crafts you can get. This is the Flesh It crafts, and there's some really nice stuff in here. Now, you can also get a pet in this area as well. I believe it's dropped by the boss. Here's one of the Flesh It claws. You've got these, which is the same thing, but it's a gun. You can use that as a gun. Flesh It clothing. Of course, it's Freddy stuff. The Flesh It burned stuff that's the one that i have and you've got the hat just the just the hat with no hair or you can have the hat and hair and you'd be running this dungeon right here you have to, you have two different options you have the flesh it's revenge or nightmare labyrinth and this is level five plus scaled the difficulty is normal but this one is not this one is the hard one and this is the one that you can get the chebby flesh it from as well as other stuff here that you can use for your crafts so in this one here you do not get the chebby so if you're going for the chebby you'd be going for that one otherwise if you're just going for the regular crafts and stuff you could be obtaining it from here i will not show you the dungeon but i will tell you the dungeon is awesome i also want to clear up some confusion the cabin in the globe area is not a seasonal area this is an area that is a permanent addition to the game so more things would be i'm sure added to it but this is not an area that will be leaving when friday the 13th ends i'm sure most of us were assuming that it would be disappearing similar to camp gonna get you but camp gonna get you is a seasonal this is not a seasonal gold raven will cover the rest of the update in tomorrow's video Stay safe out there and like Gold Raven says, keep those swords swinging. Goodbye.